Hi friends, many of you had requested me to design a Turing machine for the language A raised to n, B raised to n, C raised to n, where n is greater than or equal to 0. The logic is the same as to design a Turing machine for the language A raised to n, B raised to n, where first we are supposed to find the first A. On finding first A, replace it by X and move towards the right to find the next B. And once we get the first B, replace it by Y and move towards the right to get the first C. On getting the first C, replace it by Z. This completes one set of ABC replacing as X, Y, Z. Then we are supposed to move back for searching the next set of ABC. We have to move left until we get the first A. If A exists, then it will be to the right of the first X. So once we get A, we have to repeat step 1 to 4 and until all A's are replaced as X, B as Y and C as Z. And at last, if the tape contains the strings of X, Y and Z, then the string is accepted. Else, the string is rejected. Let us see the working of it on string A, 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 B, B, B. C, C, C in the tape. This string belongs to this particular language. Hence, by the end, it must be accepted. Initially, initial state Q0 will be pointing to the first symbol that is A. This is the first A. So, A is replaced as X. State is changed from Q0 to Q1 and move towards the right to find the first B. Until we get the first B, keep the tape symbol as it is. Don't change the state. Just go on moving towards the right. Once we get the first B, replace B by Y. Change the state from Q1 to Q2 and move towards the right until we get the first C. So now you can see here it is a B. Keep the input symbols as it is. Don't change the state and just go on moving towards the right until we get a C. Now once we get a C, C is replaced as Z. Change the state to Q3 and move towards the left. So this completes one set of A, B, C replacing as X, Y, Z. We have to go back towards the left until we get the first A. How do we get the first A? After reaching the first X, move towards the right. And if A exists, that will be the first A. So, just be in the same state, Q3. Keep the tape symbols as it is. And just go on moving left until you get a first X. Once we get the first X, change the state to Q0 and move towards the right. So, this completes one cycle. At state Q0, if the input symbol is A, then the cycle repeats. That is, A is replaced as X, change the state from Q0 to Q1, move towards the right and keep the symbols as it is until we get the first B. On getting first B, replace B by Y, Change the state from Q1 to Q2 and move towards the right until 
we get the first C. On getting the first C, C is replaced as Z. Change the state from Q2 to Q3. Move towards the left. This completes replacement of the second set of A, B, C into X, Y, Z. Again, move back being in the same state until we get the first X. Keeping all the input symbols as it is in the tape. So once we get the first X, change the state from Q3 back to Q0, move towards the right. So this completes the second cycle. So again, if Q0 is pointing to a, a, then repeat the cycle. Change the state from Q0 to Q1, replace A by X, move towards the right until you get a B. Once you get a B, replace B by Y, change the state from Q1 to Q2 and move towards the right until you get a first C. Once you get C, replace it by Z. So this is the third set of ABC replacing as X, Y, Z. Change the state from Q2 to Q3, move towards the left until we get the first X. Keep the input symbols as it is. Just go on moving left, keeping the state Q3 until we get the first X. So once we get the first X, so this completes the third cycle. Then reset the state to Q0, move towards the right. Now you can see here there is no A. It means what? All A's are exhausted. Then all B's also must be replaced as Y and all C's also must be replaced as Z. Then in future, in the tape, there must be only Y's and Z's. Then only the string is accepted. So now what we do? At Q0, when we see Y, change the state to Q4 and go towards the right. And the, in the right, we must have only Y's. And after Y's, we must have only Z's. So you can see here, Q4, Z, keep as it is, move towards the right until we come across a blank. And if we come across a blank, it means the tape has A raised to N, B raised to N and C raised to N strings. At that time, change the state from Q4 to final state, QZ, you move either left or towards the right. So this is how to design a Turing machine. In this video, we discussed about the logic of it. In the next video, we'll design the Turing machine. Thank you.